Hi, this is Tim. Today we're gonna to go through the key switch that's on the front of many Allen Bradley processors. This is one of their 5580s. It's a 1756 L82E. And it has this key switch on the front of it. And it has three positions, but actually has four modes. I just wanna take a moment to go through those and make sure you understand them. And also show you how you can accidentally stop a machine when you're troubleshooting and nobody realize what's happening. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We put out at least one automation video a week and put any questions that come up in the comments. Your question this week can easily be next week's automation topic. So first let's go over the three positions and we're gonna start at the center position because that's where you see most of them set at. Now I'm not gonna get into where these should be set. From a cybersecurity, a lot of people say you should be always in the run, take the key out. But honestly, I see them right in that center position with the key in them. But from this position, that is remote mode. And with remote mode, you can go between remote run and remote program. When you're online, you'll see, usually it'll say or something like remote run or rim run in this case. And that means it's in the center position. And so with that, we can be in remote run or we can switch to remote program. And that is a virtual key switch of what you're seeing here. And then we can switch it back to run mode. And really without mechanically touching the switch, we can switch between run mode and remote mode. But also you can reach up here and you can switch this to program mode. And at this point, you can't actually change the mode. It is locked into program mode. And on the other side, we can go over to run mode. And now it's in run. And if we look here, we have no option to switch it to program mode. So only if you're in the center position, can you switch back and forth between program mode and run mode. So those are the basic four modes. And I want to show you something that happens way too often is a machine is down and they can't get it to run. So, you know, you've got some people working on it and you know, somebody decides, hey, oh, let's look at this PLC here. And they're looking at it and oh, well, it's in remote. Let's switch it over to run. Okay, it still isn't working. All right, well, well, what's this other probe thing do? They switch it over there. Okay, it still doesn't work. So then they do the right thing and they put it back exactly where it was. So meanwhile, somebody has found out, hey, I found the broken switch and they replace the switch and the machine still won't run. And that's because the PLC is now in program mode. And I can't tell you the times I've actually had to go on a job site and reach over here, switch it to run and switch it back to remote and walk off. So let's go through with that and make sure you understand that. So right now we are in remote run mode, which is where you'll see most of the machines. If you walk up here and you switch the switch to program, it's gonna go to program mode. You switch it back, it doesn't go back to remote run, it goes back to remote program. So if you switch back to run, it goes over to run. Then you switch it back to that center position again, and it's gonna be in remote run. So that's something to be aware of. And you have an indicator right here. It says run right here in green. When we switch it over to program, that run light goes out. And if we switch it back to that middle position, that run light did not come back on because it is not running. So if you don't see that run light green solid on your PLC, it's not executing code in it. So now we'll switch it to run mode, it starts running, but really there's no need to fiddle with a switch if your machine is broke. So I hope this video has been helpful. Hopefully this little tip will save you some time and headaches later on. Take a look, make sure you pay attention to that run indicator. In fact, when somebody calls me and tells me that their machine isn't working, that's one of the big things. If they say nothing is working, it's like, oh, is a run light on? And yeah, you'd be surprised at times so if that's the problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Put any questions you have in the comments or share your war stories. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. 
And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.